The theory of biological evolution is simply irrelevant to the truth of Christian theism. Uh, Genesis 1 admits all manner of different interpretations, and one is by no means committed to six-day creationism. Howard Van Til, who is a professor at Calvin College, writes, is the concept of special creation required of all persons who trust in the creator God of Scripture? Most Christians in my acquaintance who are engaged with either scientific or biblical scholarship have concluded that the special creationist picture of the world's formation is not a necessary component of Christian belief. Nor is this a retreat caused by modern science. St. Augustine in the AD 300s in his commentary on Genesis pointed out that the days don't need to be taken literally nor need the creation be a few thousand years ago. Indeed, he suggested that God made the world with certain special potencies that would gradually unfold over time and develop. And this interpretation came 1,500 years before Darwin so that it is not a, a, a forced retreat in the face of modern science. So any doubts that I would have about the theory of biological evolution would be not biblical, uh, but rather scientific. Namely, what it imagines is fantastically improbable. Barrow and Tipler, two physicists in their book, The Anthropic Cosmological Principle, list 10 steps in the course of human evolution, each of which is so improbable that before it would occur, the sun would have ceased to be a main sequence star and incinerated the earth. And they calculate the probability of the evolution of the human genome between, to be somewhere between four to the negative 180th power to the 110,000th power and four to the negative 360th power to the 110,000th power. So if evolution did occur on this planet, it was literally a miracle and therefore evidence for the existence of God. 